Welcome back. Now, Namibia is participating in the African Regional Meeting of Information Commissioners, ANIC, a meeting in Nairobi, Kenya, from the 6th to the 7th of June. The meeting is organized by ANIC in collaboration with UNESCO. A meeting brings together information commissioners from across the continent to discuss, amongst others, challenges faced in the implementation of the access to information law in Africa and learn best practices thereof. Shred Melant is the MICT's Deputy Director for Media Liaison, Elizabeth Amagola. Elizabeth, good evening and welcome to the show. Uh, thank you very much, Nima, and good evening to everyone. Now, Elizabeth, just to start with, I just very briefly touched on, uh, on it there, but talk to us about what the purpose behind this meeting uh, really was. Um, thank you very much, Nima. Uh, first, I should indicate that Namibia is participating in the um, Regional Meeting of African Network of Information Commissioners. That is a meet. The meeting is organized by ANIC and UNESCO and it's taking place uh, from the 6th to the 7th of June 2023 in Nairobi, Kenya. Um, the purpose of the meeting is to promote collaborations among African countries and international donors in order to strengthen capacities in the promotion and implementation of the access to information laws on the continent. Elizabeth, talk to us about what the key challenges are that African countries face when it comes to implementing access to information measures and, and how these challenges can be addressed. Well, um, some of the main challenges that were raised here today is uh, the issue of poor record keeping uh, uh, in, in public institutions and record management. Uh, that is one of the issues, as we all know that, uh, um, you know, if we do not have systems in place and proper record keeping, uh, we uh, will be uh, challenged in terms of disseminating information when the public is coming to us to look for information, sometimes it takes longer. Another issue um, is the issue of uh, disinformation, misinformation and fake news that is actually creating uh, problems in terms of uh, what the public can trust as uh, credible information. So these are some of the challenges that, that, uh, that were raised in the, in the meeting today and these are issues that we really need to look at. So how we should uh, actually uh, deal with this or solve this is, uh, you know, ANIC is actually uh, putting more efforts to try to uh, find solutions to some of these uh, challenges. That's why uh, ANIC brought uh, African countries together to discuss uh, best practices that we can actually learn from each other and from those who have implemented the similar laws and uh, find ways to navigate around the challenges that are facing us in the implementation of these laws. Talk to us, Elizabeth, about how you know African governments can ensure that citizens would have access to information and, and how we can ensure that public institutions are transparent and, and accountable. Well, the um, access to information is uh, just uh, um, the, for that purpose, and uh, what we are saying is that, uh, of course, we can have the law, but you know, if the public has got no uh, clue of uh, the existence of the law, then it will, it will just be a white elephant. So therefore, the emphasis that we are, are saying is that we need to create awareness about the existence of the law and the rights that the public has to access information. Also, the other issue is that we need to put the uh, proper mechanisms in place, we need to put uh, systems in place in order to ensure that the implementation of access to information law is very smooth. So these are some of the, uh, the, the, the areas that we really need to, to focus on. With technology being such a powerful tool, Elizabeth, how can this tool be used to improve access to information in Africa? Um, well, the digitalization of information is very crucial for the uh, African continent to ensure that uh, information is uh, speedily and proactively delivered to the, to the people. 
So we cannot uh, underestimate the power of uh, information uh, technology. So we really have to move with uh, the, the, the time we need to move at the pace where uh, the technology is moving in order to ensure that we properly have uh, systems in place to ensure that we really have, uh, um, you know, we move with the speed in terms of ensuring that the people have access to information. Mm -hmm. Now, partnership is, of course, an aspect that cannot be overlooked in achieving goals towards uh, ATI. So how can, you know, African countries work to, uh, together to address, you know, global challenges related to uh, access to information? You know, um, Amit is actually one of the initiatives that are established to address these challenges facing the continent. So the, um, the, the, the implementation of access to information is, is, uh, uh, is, is, is uh, an, an issue that we really need to ensure that we do um, uh, with, with speed and, 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 and also we look at um, the, 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 the African um, modern law on, on access to information where the African countries are actually using as, as a guide to establish the, 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 the access to information law. So these are um, initiatives that are, you know, some of the initiatives that the African continent is taking on. And just uh, finally, Elizabeth, what lessons can be learned from, from other regions in terms of promoting effective um, access to information? And of course, what can other regions learn from Namibia? Well, um, so what the lessons that we can learn is actually the strengthening of capacity of public officials. Of course, you, as you know, uh, the Ministry of Information recently um, conducted a training for um, government communication officers just for us to prepare them for the implementation of access to information. Of course, the other countries can learn from us on that. Um, the other lessons that we can learn also from other countries that are already implementing is the monitoring and evaluation of the, um, uh, by the oversight body. So that is the information commissioner. If you already know, Namibia has already allocated funds uh, for the establishment of the information commission and already we are likely to see that institution, uh, uh, you know, up and running this year. So um, the other thing also is uh, we need to to increase the, the engagement between government and the civil society. We know that access to information is um, not the business of government alone, it's for all the stakeholders to get involved. So this is one of the areas that we really need to strengthen our engagement with the civil society and other stakeholders. So the last uh, um, lesson that I can uh, say we need to really look at is the as I indicated earlier, is to keep uh, proper records, to ensure that we have got uh, proper record management system for us to be able to speedily uh, divide information to the public when people are requesting for information. Mm -hmm. So uh, already today I had, uh, you know, a one-on-one -on -one with some of the, um, the, the participants from uh, other African countries who are hailing the media mm -hmm. for uh, for having kept, you know, the standard high on the issue of media freedom. In Africa, of course, we are number one, and in the world, we are among the top 20, and we are really held as a, a model for Africa on, on, on that area. Well, Elizabeth uh, Amogola, on that note, thank you so much for joining us this evening and speaking to us. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much.